Uh, that is what we did today because King County Metro says their ridership has increased 15% over the last three years and they say these buses are only going to get more crowded during the viaduct closure. So I rode the bus today and talked to people about tips and tricks and etiquette. Uh. Uh, the worst is probably getting on and off the bus when people aren't prepared. Uh, waiting five minutes while somebody's fumbling through their wallet to find their uh, their worker card or exact change. Do you see things people do that just drives you bonkers? Uh, I'll say like when it's really crowded and it's like uh, like people they don't wait or they just, I don't know, like they slow down and like uh, they get in the middle when you want to go out, out of the bus and everything. Lots of patience and you know, enjoy the ride. Uh, you see them holding up the bus to ask for questions. When, where does this go, where do I get off? They wind up holding it up for like five minutes. What would you tell people if they're gonna try riding the bus now? I tell them to go online and look at the trip planner or Google map because those provide a, an exact description and time and location for them to get on and get off. There you uh, go. You know, mm -hmm. I, I get what he's saying, and just, you know, full transparency, I've never taken the bus, but I do want to try in light of this closure. And that's the thing, like, even if I go online, it's that whole fear of actually doing it and being dropped off somewhere you've yeah. never, you know. It's really your... not that bad, though. Google okay. is your friend here, I think. It okay. shows you where to walk, it shows you where the stops are, makes it really easy to get mm -hmm. around. Okay.